Hi all, today I'll be showing off some customizable boss features for the bosses I showed up last video, uh, including both customizable boss AI as well as other AI changes we made to existing bosses, uh, most notably Brightman, Electman, and Drillman, all of which I'll be showing off momentarily. Starting off with Brightman here, in the original Mega Man 4, he flashes at three specific HP values, which are 16, 8, and 4. These are still the default values for the Brightman object flashing time, but you can customize them now, so you can have them flash whenever you want. And you can even have more than three values, but you might have to tinker around with the code a little bit for that. So I'll show that off real quick. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. And on Q, he flashes. A change we made to Brightman's AI that you might have noticed during that segment is that now while time is frozen, he only shoots, so you have less to account for and there's no more undodgeable Brightman jumps on you while time is frozen nonsense. There's another change that's been made to his AI that I'll go over later, um, but for now I'm just gonna wipe this Brightman object and move on, as there's nothing uh, more unique to show off here, really. The other customization that we added for Brightman is that you can now have him flash based on RNG, instead of at certain HP values. The default for this is 1 in 4 times every time he returns to his uh, idle state, which is after he completes uh, a jump or a shoot. And you might have noticed there that I got shot and Mega Man fell to the ground, which is because we also changed uh, him so that if you get shot while time is frozen, time is restored, so you don't just get shot over and over again if you get unlucky with the RNG, uh, especially with this setting. And with that, that's basically all the changes we've made to Brightman, mostly just to make him a more fair boss and uh, more interesting, especially if you don't want him just to flash at certain values, which is a uh, pretty cryptic attack that it's begin with. The next changes that we have to show off are with Electman. In the Electman object we showed off last time, we'd made some changes to the AI that were uh, questionable and strayed a bit far from his NES uh, implementation. More specifically is an exploit related to shooting him just as he raises his hands, um, as well as how he moves. Uh, basically where he sets his checkpoint to related to when he shoots. So we've added a customization setting for Elect Man where he behaves just like he did in Mega Man 1, uh, the original Mega Man 1 on the NES. So I'll show off the exploit that's performable in the original as well. Shoot him when he raises his hands, he'll do this over and over again. And uh, this is a viable strategy um, in the original game. It's good for beating him. So that's a thing, and... Uh, this is basically the NES accurate elect man, and I'll show off the other elect man objects as well. So here's the elect man object from last time, the one that, uh, the NES accurate elect man also reacts to your shoot input presses rather than the presence of a PRT player projectile, but this elect man, the modified elect man, uh, doesn't have the shooting exploit and also reacts based on the presence of projectile rather than the button press. And not much new to be seen here, so I'm going to move on to Drill Man quickly. Finally, Drill Man hasn't had any customization done his AI, but now he can move on uneven terrain, which was not a feature in the original Mega Man 4. Not that there was uneven terrain that you fought him uh, in, so this wouldn't have been a thing regardless, but as you can see, he'll now jump and walk over uneven surfaces, as well as drill properly to resurface in the correct place. And there's really not much to it other than that, so I'm just going to kill him quickly. Thanks for watching, and I hope this has left you all excited for the next showcase for Mega Man. Uh, the Mega Mix engine recharged, which will either be more bosses or more weapons. Haven't decided exactly what I'm going to upload, but I hope this leaves everyone excited. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.